Hello everyone, welcome to the class. Okay, this is a YouTube class, another YouTube class, and I think it would be the last one before we jump into the final presentation from you guys. And then let me share my screen. Okay, today I will talking about contemporary in the city, which is like the connect story from the last lecture. But the last lecture we have talked about like how the city was shaped up the lifestyle, right? And then it's appear as the three areas that we just chose for study more on Chiang Mai City. This is uh, they are Chiang Mai, uh, Chiang Pu, and also Chiang Town. And we will talk about this more in this lecture. So contemporary in the city. This is Chiang Mai, right? Uh, the one that we perceive from the tours book, from the books, from the written legends, we, we, we perceive these things more historical, more cultures. But look at what they are. This is the real wheel from the top of the mountain. And we can see Chiang Mai, right, with the developments of urban, with the developments of the economies, and everything makes Chiang Mai like this. How can you perceive the idea of historical and cultural from these pictures is pretty hard, right? But why we're still hunting by this goals, right? This goals are running by the money, right? By, by economy from the tourism, economy from the government, which is like one, two strategies. Chiang Mai look like the historical city, the cultural city, but look at look at in the reality, guys. This is plenty of the hotel and apartment. Because Chiang Mai is land for tourism, right? We promote a lot about tourism, elephant, craftsmanship, beautiful temple, beautiful cultures. But not just that. This is the city, which is like the northern center of uh, social economies and also educational. So that's why they have many for immigrants for study here. This is also like the university as well. We have more than seven universities, which is gathering people more than 10,000 people each year to move and come to the city. And that is how Shemai looks like. This is the city, right? Shemai City is on the center. It's, it's the original city. It's original the city. That's one. The city concept was inspired by the urban urbanized. So the urbanized making the city more modern. And is spreading by the circle. We have to know about the historical study as well. Because you know what, like in the center of the city, as I told you, originally like uh, 725 years ago, this is this is the old city concept, which is uh, represent the human body and is shown on the city concept with the head, two heads, and two legs, right? So from the head is the north, and become the Du Shang Pue, or Shang Pue Gate, which is like the main entrance of the city. But look at the concept and transferring to the body of the city. This is like this city, it looks square, but it reference from the human body. And then later on, once we have the uh, providing city as the as the city, right? We providing with the compact city in two thousand nine. Two thousand nine, we have three circles all around. Uh, old city of Chiang Mai, providing suburban, providing to connect uh, each province. And I want to show you like this, like not just uh, the strategy making the urban planning change the element of the city of Shen as well, like from the north, right? Chang Pue, this is Chang Pue from the north. It's become, it was changed to be like uh, the, the, not a grand parasite anymore because once in 1296, right? In 200 years ago, Chiang Mai become one of, say, one of Thailand, one a part of Thailand. So they changed the access to the east. So, Tapak East, Tapak Gate in the east of Chiang Mai become the main plaza for 
our economy for tourism to the gateway was changed, right? We never we never get from the north anymore, but we get it doesn't be from the east. Not just the gate or gateway. The street and access work change, right? The chunk of road, which is connect from the north, become the way that you get out from the city. But from the east, top hair road become the the main access, the main entrance to the city. So the street was changed, the gateway was changed, and also the building was the building was changed a lot. Once uh Shimai become the modern province in terms of like the modern stage, modern nations have to become, right? So the look of the city hall was changed. The first, this is so the first I would say the first barang, the first foreign building in the town, which is was built in 1990. This is a city hall of the city. And look at the, the proportions, look at the element. Is contemporary style, contemporary style mixed with neoclassic Atlanta, as you can see. But moving to like 80 years more, they change the location out of the old city, they moved the city hall to the first circle of the of the Chiang Mai new city planning. And the right hand side is the look of the city hall in 1999. Which is like look at the look at the shape. It's so big, so gigantic. But they use a concept of time mixed lana in modern. Look at the roof. The roof an element on the roof is not Chiang Mai style is mixed with Thai, Central Thai. And also look at the shape of the building is what is so big. So they have to gain more construction and structures. So this is just a concept. But compared to the first one, right? The, the element, the, the technologies of construction or change. And it's impact us, not just only the urban planning, but also de urban development with the gateway, the road, the building was changed a lot with the period of the town. And Chiang Mai, right now, this is the, the body of the Chiang Mai. Uh, we have the land use planning, which is like um, managed by the colors. And on the center, this was brown color. Brown color is for the area, which is like protecting by the special law, which is you have to protect the historical building and have their own rule. You have to the height of the building, not too high than 12 meters. And also the, the colors of the building have to um, construct with the five colors. So this is the how the city planning go. But the city is not just one particular function on it, right? It's multi use ethnic use and also like the people who live in this flow. This flow all around the city. So the shape of the city was like, in the center is the square of the old, old city and providing with the three circle, but also the, the small was so dynamic with the communities, with the way that they use. And then we have to know about the modern plan because the modern plan was tried to many places of the city gap. One of the good examples is the Manheim, was just like the big land. This was agricultural land, agricultural field connect from the old city to the western side of the city like Dog Palace area and also like Sheikh Mai University area. This field was developed and become a real estate with the grading of the city system. So the street network was become a grid system which is so modern planning. And the first circle of the city was become like 12 lengths of, of the road of the street of the cars and as you can see like it's, it's dividing the connection of the city by making people can come from the suburb to the inner city faster easier but the but the area of the community was cut what divided each other and this is the Mahimin right the Mahimin we don't they, they don't have like any such of like historical base or history about it Okay. So this has become the one thing that that uh, crash on the city. From the left hand side, the city of Chiang Mai, the 
At first, it's like a temple center community. Temple is the place that gathering, relation, and also that like we, we, we have the agriculture, right? We raise uh, some food, we raise some rice, so we connecting each of our clubs by alley or soil, connect to the center as the temple. But once we have to become the modern city, the modern concept of development was strike with the modern planning. We have to cut the street to uh, providing the road. The road is providing a car to get in any places in the city. And also the graphic of the city was changed to become the geographic things, right? The square, the shape of rectangles was become the shape of the land and it's providing the land use. And these two things, these two concepts of the community was striped each other. So right now, how to we learn what we are, right? The, the place that you show us, like Shang Moi, and Tam, also Shang Tan. How can we learn about what came from by the physical? They have the concept of urban landscape or urban landscape from Garden Kule, which is to have three things to see things, to understand what is influence from the urban landscape. The first one is physical data. It's so easy. The one that you can see, the one that you can touch, the one that you can smell from your physical perceptions, like the material things, the color, the structures, the building origin, right? Uh, the, the shape of the buildings. This kind of thing, it represents something. So I want you, uh, you already chose your building to want to learn already. So the first one, you got that building, maybe you're just looking from the urban, from the Google map of Wind Earth, or you can see from Instagram or anything. You just analyze it from the first topic, physical data. Look at the color that they're painting, look at the material, look at the construction and structures, look at the building origins. That will lead you to understand how it becomes, right? The colors is maybe it was the um, urban planning or something, but the color represent the period of the time, represent the beauty, the aesthetic of things, material as well, the material and constructions represent the period of the time, the technique that the architect and engineering was used in those period of the time. And also the, the building may be renovated many times. So we can see the background of the building origins, right? Why they have like the wooden structure and then the concrete and then the steel. That it represents the, 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 the dynamics of period of the time as well. The first is physical data. So you're just decoding from the planning, from the the perspective from the picture that you got, right? And then, not just physical data, it's called figure and girl. You have to see this building, those buildings that you show us, connect with the bigger area, like which the direction that it is, and then make it black and white. Figure and girl will, will, will lead you to understand the shape of the building and also the space between each building and also you can understand whoa this was linear it was parallel with the road so it could mean this building is what built in the same time with the road or maybe you can see oh this is so rectangle this is so geographic this is so modern but it graphic of the planning of layout is weird so maybe it's what component is what integrated many uh, share it lay, uh, later on or to the period of time. You can understand it by right? seeing things from the top view and use bigger ground, right? It's topic number two. And topic number three, the visual perception. So this, you can dig out or dig deep on the way that they use, right? From the Instagram or Facebook or your experience when you were there. The, the, the visual perception, it mean like this building connect with the surrounding, how they connect with the surrounding. This is uh, the Taka Tower in Tokyo, in Kyoto. So as you can see, like they make the main, sorry. They make the main road connect to the beautiful set the 
tower is at the center, and then uh, put the buildings along this road. So that means like the ratio of these communities or this land was set on the tower, and not just the tower or landmark. Maybe this building was connected with beautiful environmental, like they have beautiful view on here, they're located nearby the canal or river park. So it's taking view to that because that means the beautiful or the connection with the context by racial perception. But not just something that you can see. Maybe the lighting, the wind, the rain, sun shading, that is also the racial perception as well. You want to live in the beautiful lighting, you want to connect the light on it, or you try to ventilation the buildings. So that is the racial perception as well. So we talk about the district that, that I showed you to choose, right? This is Changpu. Changpu area is on the north, as I told you, right? It was firstly to become the entrance of the city, but right now it was changed for, for the place that we should still have like the, the bus terminal, the first the first bus terminal, and so like they have many uh, communities still in there. But Changpu is like adaptation, plan of adaptation between the modern and local. So this is one of the key Sing Chai markets was located on those areas because this is the, the the common the common area which is gathering the modern people like the foreigners like a modern Thai want to buy or want to sell some organic product which is they come from farm which is like we can connect with the logistic way from the suburban get to this market as easily so inside the the, the highway to connect with the organic products and also like it represents a new lifestyle mixed with modern and local. Shangmoy. Shangmoy is almost like in the eastern area from the old city. But Shangmoy is was the first developed as a modern planet. And Shangmoy is plenty of the mid-century, like 1950s or 60s, that the first period of the modern building was right into Chiang Mai, and it's mixed with the old and new culture and businesses. So the first sample is very uh, famous, and you already been there, I guess. This is Burgundy Coffee, which is they renovating the building by collect and keep some elements of the old building and making the cafe to open the view to get into the district and connecting with another uh, local furniture shop. So that's why the connection of the city was still, uh, what well, not still, but it's making more than just before. Because before it's just shop house and it's just only the shop house, which is, which is open on the front. But right now they open the corners to become a new shape in land, a new shape in point in Chiang Mai. And look at the original building, the color was a, the today's colors, but they mix with old and new, and it's become the creative business in town right now. The last district is Santitam. Santitam is the land which is what cut by the first circle, Wake Out Road, and so uh, Shangkuk Road, which is like the gap of the city. So inside of the gap of Santitam is, is plenty of the street, the small street, the small alley, the the, the location of the building was so complexity is is chaotic and exotic once you get into the sunny time I guess maybe you will get confused by the by the road by the some by the buildings because it was so mixture of everything but in sunny time it's very interesting because like it's near the city so it's like the city gap which is plenty of the apartment workers student dormitory People who living there is a cheap area to live, and in the nighttime, it's plenty of the food market. Food, it's night food market, and one of the case is the Myeongdong. Myeongdong is is the district in South Korea, right? But they use that name to put on the group of barbecue shop, and the, this group of barbecue restaurant is become famous because like one day, uh get back from work or after school, they want to eat something from 6 p.m. to until midnight. So you can go to the Santi Town and buy 
many food area out there. But why the food area in the nighttime is plenty of sunny time? Because it's demand from the people who are living there, right? It's in it's, it's so in the inner of the city, but so in the gap and also the the shape of the sunny time is was chaotic. So that's why they have many gaps, many apartments, many dormitory put inside of it. But right now it's more brighter and brighter because the develop developations of the city was spreading more. Okay, so this is the case. But right now, as you saw my video, as you watch my video right now, it's Thursday 10, right? It's Thursday of February 10. Next week, I will give you a time and to produce your works at the final presentations, and you will present it in the next two Monday. It's mean like February 21st. February 21st. You have to decode your building following the lecture that I just gave you. So this is your job. The job, this job is the final assignment. So I will collect you 20%. So please, please take time on this. Please, please make it worth, with worth to 20%. So I want you to decode on architectures that you show us. I provided for two topics, right? The first is you see architecture as a physical design. So you use the concept that I told you, which is I told you uh, told you earlier from the urban landscape, urban townscape. Look at the physical data. Look at figure and down and look at the visual perception. That is the physical data that you can analyze what it influence from. This is look like a Chinese one. This is look like a Lana one, but by the mixed together. That's how you learn from the physical. But not just that. Topic number two, you have to understand why this building still exists in this period of the time, in today, right? So look at the architecture and the space to creating social practice. So how this building work with today, what is the main function, how they making the building work, because like people of today is different from people in the, peri peri the period of the time, right? So we change, we are so we use social media, we go to cafe, the last time was shame. Look at the social practice on it, so you can see what, how can use the building differently. So you present it by, you record yourself, as the video, this time is different. Okay, you have to prepare. You present it for three to five minutes video. You collect it and you send it to the mail and open that video on Monday, 21st. I will collect you. So you have to collect yourself presenting your slide or your video, any kind, but you've got three minutes more. Please make it more uh, up to three minutes, but not over five minutes. And send it to the email or and open it on the class that it will be the final class of us. And then that's it for the class. I guess if you have any questions, you can ask me on WeChat later on. But yes, I guess you will fine right and i take time for one week to to study on your individual building and district so if you have any question or you have a problem to dig deep on the data because you are in china or maybe you can get out you can ask me okay and then we will find a way to get your topic okay that's it for today have a good day everyone bye see you Monday 21st.